Hi, young mathematicians. This is Mr. Woods Teaches, and today we're going to be working on fifth grade math by multi-digit numbers. And this is an introduction. Some of the math vocabulary we're going to be working on. Estimate, multiple, round, divisor, compatible numbers, divide, grid, dividend, table, place value, and quotient. Let's take a look at some of this in a little more detail. First, you can look up anything but I have something very simple for fourth and fifth grade. It's available on Amazon. There's the URL. It's going to cover a bunch of vocabulary, including what we have over here. First, compatible numbers. These are numbers that are easy to calculate mentally. They look nice and friendly. Check it out. We'll be reviewing that. Dividend is what is being divided. Divisor is what the dividend is being divided by. Next, estimate. If you notice, I have the arrow going all the way over here, and this is a verb, and it says find an answer close to the exact amount. That's what we're trying to do today. We're going to be working on that, and then we're going to find the exact amount. Multiple. A multiple is a product of a whole number and another whole number. And the example here is 4 times 1, 4 times 2, 4 times 3. All of those answers, or the products of that, is they are multiples of 4, so 4, 8, 12, 16. Place value. You have to understand that there's ones, there's tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, and later on there'll be decimals. We'll get more into that in a later video. Quotient. The quotient is the answer to a division problem less the remainder. So the remainder is something that's separate. Round, it's replacing a number with a simpler number or a number that's close to how many or how much. Let's take a look at this problem now. Estimate the quotient. A toy company packs 322 cat plushies into 14 boxes. Each box has the same number of cat plushies. Show how you could estimate the number of cat plushies in each box. Well, other words for or synonyms for estimate can be it's an approximation or it's an educated guess. So when we say educated guess, we're going to use our number sense to do that. Here's a cat plushie here. And that's Sherman as featured in Huey's First Spring. That's in one of my books that I've written. Let's go back and reread it. A toy company packs 322 cat plushies. So I'm going to underline that. Into 14 boxes. It says each box has the same number of cat plushies. Show how you can estimate the number of cat plushies in each box. It's not asking for the exact number, but it's, we want to get an estimation. But how can we set this up? Well, we're dividing... 322 cat plushies, and we do this here with a division symbol, and into 14 boxes. So we're trying to put them into 14 boxes. We can also look at it as a multiplication problem where it's 14 times a certain number. We don't know what that number is. That's why I leave it blank. Equals 322. Let's clean that up. Let's try it with compatible numbers. So we have 322 divided by 14, or 14 times an unknown is equal to 322. What we can do is we can use rounding. And to use rounding, we probably should refresh our memory what that means. So I have here where I'm looking at this. Let's, let's round this to the nearest hundred. So we're going to look to the number directly to the right of that hundred place value which is 2, and I'm looking over here, 2, so I'm going to round down. So I'm going to have 300 divided by, what do we have up here, 14. I'm seeing something here that's familiar because I know my multiplication tables. I know that 15 plus 15, or 2 times 15, is going to be 30, and that looks similar to 300. So let's see what we can do with that. Or I can have it as 15 times that unknown equals 300 maybe? How can we work that out? Well, let's take a look. I took this number, I put it down here, I'm rounding it, I'm rounding it. But here, I'm going to focus on this because we can use multiplication to find the answer to my division problem. And if you look here, this should look familiar. All this is is just an area model. So I have, let's call that the W, so that my width, and what is my length equals what? And we know that area equals length times width. And this is my area right in here. That's the total. So I can take this area, which is 300. 300 equals my length. And I don't know what that is. So I'm just going to put a blank there. Times 15. Well, I know that 2 times 15, so I'm going to do that down here. That 2 times 15 is equal to 30. Because if I do a partial product, 2 times 5 is 10. I would put that up here. And I have 0 down here. 2 times 1 is 2, plus 
and that's actually 2 times 10 is 20, plus another 10 is 30. So I know that. I also know that if I multiply that 30 times 10, or that 20, I can get an answer. So I clean this up a little bit. I have 15 times 20 is equal to 300, but I have to answer the question. The total number of plushy cats per box is about, about. And that's not giving us an exact number. It's saying it's about, and we can work from there. I'm going to show you how that works in our favor later on. Another thing that we can do is we can use a table. You can say 322 divided by 14 or 14 times something is equal to 322. Well, let's take a look at this. Let's go, let's start out here. Number of plushy cats per box. Let's put it in here as 10. And if we multiply 14 times 10, that equals 140. So all I'm doing is just adding that zero to the end. Let's take 20. And I know that. 14 times 10 is 140. I just double that. So I can say 14 times 20. Or if I know 2 times 14, which is 28, and I have that 0 to it, I can say 280. And then I can look at this table here, 30. Let's just do the same thing. 14 times 30 is equal to, look at this. Since I'm lining it up over here, I can say, well, 0 plus 0 is 0. 8 plus 4 is 12. I can carry that up there, there. And now I'm going to have 2 plus 1 is 3, plus another 1 is 4. So it's about 420. My estimate, I can say the number of cats per box is between 20 and 30. I cleaned it all up so you can get a better look at this. So I have 140, which is 14 times 10. 14 times 20 is 280. 14 times 30 is 420. And the total number of plushy cats per box is between. Now that's different words are a different word that I use instead of about because it is between 20 and 30. All right, all right, all right. Let's take a look at this. This says find the quotient. So that's a little bit different. Before it was to estimate the answer or the quotient. Now it's find it. And I can use grid paper to do that. Well, I can look at this and go 322 divided by 14. Well, if I go down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and then if I, I already know that there's 10 is 140, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, there's 140. Notice how I started by counting here, not going over 1, because this is column number 1. There's, I have, again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and then I know that 20 is, is lower than the number, so I go... 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and go up here. So all of that right now is 280. And I know that from my estimation. But let's count on again. So let's just add another column of 14 right there. And that's going to give me 294 because I'm just adding another 14. That's still less than the 322. Let's add another 14. So if I do that, one, four, and that's going to give me eight. So 308. Hmm, this is looking interesting. Let's add another 14. So 308 plus 14. That equals eight plus four is 12. There's that 12 underneath there. And one, or one ten plus another 10 is two tens. And I don't have anything else to enter here. I just bring down that three, 322. Oh, wow. So I know that there's going to be 20, 21, 22. That's just 23. 14 times 23 equals 322 over there. But how do we answer that question completely? Let's take a look. So as you can see, I cleaned this up a bit. So I have all of this already shaded in. There's all of my, I can, if I wanted to go through and count them individually, I could. But here's the answer is the total number of plushy cats per box is Again, there's that is instead of between or about. It is 23. Here's the link for my YouTube channel for more practice from early counting up to here. I want to say thank you, and please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And to be a math person, all you have to be is a person that does math.